in this part two, we make two changes to part one. First, count seats in any horizontal, vertical or diagonal seat from the seat we are checking. And, not the least, a seat, occupied or not, blocks the view. So, in effect, a free seat must be detected so that we do not continue searching for an occupied one. Let's begin. If you like my videos, feel free to do nothing. Just grab a cup of coffee and enjoy. Here's the magic source to part two according to my solution. I added this slope class so that I can initialize this vector to search in all directions. North, northeast, east, southeast and so on in all these star patterns. And of course these are now increments to, to walk in each direction. And from that we can now define the new adjacent occupied count part 2 here. And what we do is we loop through all the slopes. We count any occupied seats we find in that slope. And the mechanism for this is defined in find occupied, which in turn is based on this find seat. And we check that the, the seat we find is occupied and all the logic goes into this find seat function. Let me now, if you want to, look at me uh, live coding the whole problem from part one.
heals the bug. I got the slopes incorrectly, so I didn't search all directions. So with that fixed, I now only have to remove a lot of loggings and cleaning this code up and then running it with the final data and here's the answer coming up. And it's just to copy and to enter into the puzzle input area and spoiler alert, this is the correct answer. So thank you for watching and see you next time. If you like my videos, feel free to do nothing. Just grab a cup of coffee. And enjoy.